This is Fulcrum. We have the Bad Batch season finale, the last two episodes. Uh, I'm worried. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm worried. Uh, they've set a lot of stuff up, so uh, somebody could possibly have a demise. I don't really know. Um, we, of course, have uh, new information with um, the Bad Batch finding out kind of about the Empire and about Crosshair and... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen or where they're going to lead. They, they, the Empire needs Omega, um, and of course they have to protect Omega. But they're, you know, they, of course they need to figure out what the Empire's plans are and with Crosshair. And um, there's a, there's a lot to set up here that uh, has me concerned. So uh, we're gonna do a special thing today. We're gonna uh, be with the uh, Diet and the Force um, and my friends Element Seven, Darth Chaco, and uh, Obi Sean Kenobi. We're gonna do a whole group uh, viewing here, and I'm excited to uh, share this with friends, but also worried. So, let's just dive in. It's fun to watch with friends, too. I love it. For sure. Can you imagine doing this alone and having spent all day at Galaxy's Edge? You're just like... That would have been me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. All right. I'm just saying the area around the Tarkins uh, is, is not to be taken lightly. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, come on. She really grew on me. She's so adorable. Yeah. Like those kids, if she like, gets back. It's a secret mission. <laughs> and here's these two. Did you require a briefing? I mean, that's like a that that is a Chaco response. <laughs> there it is. Attack is gonna bite it. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, every, everything, every story. This is my last mission before retirement. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's just that in shows like this, happiness is a bad omen. Mm hmm. The only omen worse is the potential for happiness. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now that we're all finally here, we can begin. Think clearance codes. If this doesn't work, be ready to fly out of here. I don't know. Fly I casual. Be... <laughs> Gregor. He was in for a bit. He might have some extra knowledge still. <laughs> That's assuming that Wrecker makes it. <laughs> Every time, Element. <laughs> now I'm going to see somebody wearing red. I'm going to wonder if they're a red shirt. <laughs> we can exploit. I feel like this is a ski resort now. The Matterhorn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can handle it. Heights. <laughs> he's getting he's been getting better at heights, everyone. That's that's me whenever we're running a raid in Destiny. <laughs> we have to be very careful this platforming section. Right? <laughs> Pretty handy oh. gun. Yeah. You notice the number 3811 in reverse? Mm hmm. Yeah. 1138 appears everywhere. Anything from the sensor reading? So bad. Uh, Wrecker, you know of course he looks down. <laughs> that dude in white kind of looks like Krennic. To the I was hoping we'd get him in animated form. I don't think it is, but. 
No. Okay, it's just juicy. We will ensure an enlightened society through their advanced technology and molecular alteration. And these clones have agreed to your experimentation? They <laughs> to quell any threat of a clone uprising. Now, Commander Krennic, in likeness... Oh, That's what I thought. It is done. Oh! Yeah. You're welcome. Stardust! Yeah. We've had cycled deactivations in various corridors. That is highly irregular, considering the number of top-ranking Imperial officers present. Tech, let's check it out. Echo, keep an eye on things. Uh, is someone else doing an extraction? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Is, is there another mission happening? Rex is there. <laughs> that's what, that was my thought, but... But Echo would know. Yeah. It's too exposed. How are we supposed to get to it? Unless Rex was like, this is a secret mission. Uh, I don't think Rex is dumb enough to, you know, not oh. let that be known, because then Echo... They're just kind of like going to step on each other's toes. They're giving Omega some extra responsibility now. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little bit of um, Obi-Wan with a little girl in his coat walking. Yeah. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> I kind of want him to step in two of them and go skating. <laughs> Send a squad and secure the rail line. Yeah, there's got to be somebody else there. Someone is targeting this base. Oh. One charge will Good thing we have more. <gasps> I was like, saw. It's got to be saw. <laughs> Still so young. Looks like you've chosen. Yeah. I'm leveling this compound along with all the Imperials inside it. Can't let you do that. How often is Saw been involved and in not have things go off the rails? <laughs> Damn, they were busy. <laughs> Alpha Tarkin's tower is a T. <laughs> it's like Teen Titans. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> we're when I said off the rails, I wasn't trying to be literal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cliffhanger? Cliffhanger. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> There's a lot to be resolved in like 20 minutes. I can try to reboot the system, but I will need to plug directly into one of the terminals on the track. You three, give us cover. Okay, I'm with me. Oh. This isn't that moment, though. I don't feel like this is that moment. It's too um, early. So if yeah. if he gets taken. He gets taken to Tantus, and and he can try to send uh, the location. Now I'm kind of getting flashbacks to the train with Solo. Mm-hmm. He doesn't crossfire. Care. Do it. <laughs> it's always that, right? Just like in uh, in uh, Endgame. But uh, our troops just do it. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Vortech, hurry! I am climbing. It's fast. Oh, oh the weight of the stormtroopers are gonna. Oh. It's not enough time. You must sever the connection hinge, Ingrekka. 
No! Don't you do it. No! <sighs> I've, I've been worried the whole season that because of the development we got with Tech, he was going to be the one. Yeah, so much build up. Said AZ can help, yeah, the, the, the droid, but now they're going to be back with Sid. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully Sid doesn't hand them over to the Empire. I'm kind of past putting her in a vilified yeah. position. Never mind, that look made me retract that statement. Yep. Betrayed. What with you? I hate all of this. Called the Empire. I tried to look out for you boys, but you got too much heat on you, and you brought it here to my place of business. I had to make the best of a bad situation. What did you do? Since when do we follow orders? I thought we weren't soldiers anymore. <laughs> there it is. I can't do it, AZ. <laughs> I thought they did that to themselves. <laughs> That would have been funnier. I wouldn't be surprised. It is not safe. It will be. Keep quiet. Please consider your next move. It's time for a little die hard maneuver. I would hate for this to end poorly. Yippee Kaye. We still have Echo out there. I'm so afraid this season's going to end with them getting Omega. Ah. <sighs> You bastard. Come on. Does that mean that Tech is not dead? That he has, has him in the lab? I, that's, that's what I'm feeling. That's more likely, yeah. Straight at them. Lower your weapons. <laughs> yeah, the season ends with them getting Omega. Ah. Parkour. <laughs> Hello, clone sister. Have memory see to her entrance. Yes, Doctor. Perhaps now you will reconsider working on the Emperor's project. What he seeks is not possible. Make it possible. She, of course, is talking about cloning for sensitivity. Oh, look in the background, yeah. There he is. Crosshair. Don't you, you might sister? Know me better than you think. We're sisters. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where you leave it. Ah, uh, nope. Mm. Didn't make it. I don't. Well, I'm not. I mean, it's still possible, but like. Never say never. 
I'm Usually there's like somewhere. some sort of teaser. He's floating in a pickle jar right now. I want to apologize to all of our channel friends. Uh, we did, we did make light of choosing victims. Uh, but when that happened, I uh, the tears hit me hard. Mm. Uh, and I and I personally wasn't ready for it to actually happen. Uh, so we don't know uh, if, if Tech made it or not, or they just you know did the thing with that the goggles and he's on I Mutantis mean, like Crosshair is. I mean, honestly, like that the whole you know wondering who's probably going to perish. It's a lot of that when doing that. It's preparing ourselves for possible inevitability. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's it's trying to prepare ourselves for something that could happen. And then when it does, you're still not prepared. Yeah. We tell ourselves it'll hurt less. Yeah. But does it? It's <laughs> it's um it I don't know. I like part of me hopes that tech is is still alive that the whole goggle thing is just to throw them off, but like when you leave a season like that. And the, as soon as he started the development in the beginning of the season, you're like, oh, this is yeah. fun. And then the development continued. You're like, oh. uh, as soon as, I mean, we kind of, I think we all felt it. As soon as Fee said goodbye to him. <laughs> yeah. That's when I switched so, up mm -hmm. entirely. Uh, and like you were saying, Chaco, all that, all that character development, you know, throughout the season. Yeah, a lot of focus on tech. I mean, I knew they, I knew they needed to acquire Omega to to push the plot forward. But Honestly, yeah, that was that really... is not that is not where I thought they were going to go with it. That was a really difficult finale to watch. I mean, mm -hmm. we we all had our guesses as to who would who would die, um, but constantly. At 110%, like everyone was under threat. Everyone had moments of, yeah, of finality, apparel. you know? Yeah. I shudder to say it was yeah. a great episode <laughs> or a great finale. Oh, but I was gripped on the edge of my toes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is going to be a hard one to go back and watch. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, yeah. But also and then, just and so it, many like loose ends to tie up too. Um, you know, things they dropped early in the season, like Cody just went AWOL. Where is Cody? <laughs> I, I honestly think that's the last we see of Cody. Really? You think it's just gonna write him off as an AWOL? That's it. It was it was a he good ending. That, yeah, he just um <laughs> but I mean they could bring him back, but I for me that's uh, like the finale. I think he's in Mount Tansis right now. I'm I'm feel extra sure now because of how they referred to um, the doctor taking his recruits, you know, and trying to uh, make sure no one noticed it. So you can just keep saying, oh, yeah, they went AWOL. Oh, they went AWOL, too. This person's AWOL. <laughs> you know what I mean? And especially considering all of the, you know, troopers at the end that were serving him are still, you know, in the Rep Republic Commando, um, you know. Uh, so, and you saw how orderly all of them were and how crisp and precise the clones were losing that when we saw the clones before they were not walking in lockstep because their individuality was kept taking shape. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. And of course they ended on, um, the, uh, thing all of us knew from the instant, <laughs> uh, Emery appeared on screen that, that she was a clone. So that is, but that thanks is... for the Thanks that for the confirmation. confirmation. I mean, it was it was obvious, right? That all came from just the accent. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just looked then, at like, her. She looks exactly like Tech, like specifically. Well, <laughs> I mean, well, like Tech, I, but I when she actually takes the goggles off, she looks yeah. just like Omega. Yeah, I hadn't taken a closer like look Omega. at her until the accent. Then I was like, yeah, she looks like Omega. Like she looks like a like a a beta or like a an in between, you know. Um. Wow. Well, we did get confirmation at least canonically <laughs> that Nala say 
believes that cloning for sensitivity is not possible. And then this connects to Mando because Pershing, now they need Pershing Strandcast technology to complete that. Um, which now makes me like see crosshair in Snoke. <laughs> it's the same. Oh, I see. It, yeah. I need, I need, now I need D. Bradley and Baker his, to read some his Snoke constant, lines. like, <laughs> you know, like Snoke and Crosshair is both like the way they look down and then up. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Lloyd couldn't swim. So it's Crosshair. It's other parts of, you know, because we have Kenobi now with a whole bunch of force sensitives in those tanks. So there's 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 casting coming from everywhere. So Snoke is like Tara Sanube and, and like Shock T and Crosshair's face and Kino Loy's voice. It's like, yeah, I mean, they, they, they took all these Jedi, but none of them had a high enough M count. And, and that way they were theorizing you needed someone with more Metachlorians uh, concentration to make it work. So they were getting some of that Grogu juice. <laughs> yeah. Do we need to phrase it that way? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to Oga's Cantina. Yeah. Oga juice. I mean, I would order it, but I'm guilty doing it. Can I have the... Can I have the great like Oga juice? <laughs> it's a green jello shot in a syringe is, is what it would be. <laughs> oh, man. I... Oh. This, this finale is going to take me a while to work. I mean, it's one thing when they just... Uh, destroyed Camino, you know? It's like, okay, the destroyed Camino facility has meant a lot to us, but now, like, now they ended personal. Yeah. But, okay, so Silver Linings playbook. She's revealing herself to be Omega's sister. Why? Because yeah. Because that's their way out. Yeah. So, it's going to end up working out perfectly because... I mean, they have to cooperate, but at this point in time, they can't hurt Omega. Um, but now, you know, Emery is going to have someone from the outside in order to give her the clues on, like, what type of protocols or what what codes to send out so that they can find the location. So everyone will have the knowledge, the other person will have the access, and then we'll, we'll, see, what, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So... I mean, I, I love a good like, like you gotta you gotta get the the captured person kind of mentality because we're gonna see them like take no prisoners. They're gonna go all out to get her back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, we kind of got a look of like what Omega will look like as an adult if she reaches that that <laughs> age. You had to say if, right? You know. I listen. If if you if Danielle, Marianne, and Young are watching this, I. 100% completely regret playing uh, I guess Lightning Cat's Rock. Cradle with everyone's <laughs> <laughs> fates. Will the doctor ever take off his glove and what will we find underneath there? Luke's hand. <laughs> <laughs> he cut off his own hand and then he attached Luke's hand. So in this timeline uh, baby Luke? I don't... <laughs> no. One thing we did hear was that it was time to stop uh, villainizing. <laughs> um, well, Sid. Um, oh, I yeah. know. I completely took that back. Like, yeah, a I know. Later. I, know. It was... I was like, I'm past yeah. that point, and she like gave that side glance. I was like, No, and I'm back anymore. <laughs> side eye. <laughs> you know, Hemlock gives off a uh, BD Wong's character in the Jurassic Park franchise. Mm, absolutely. He also gives off Markion vibes. Strandcast the ever any? <laughs> no, they're not I, on the Strandcast uh, technology yet. Um, I mean, it, it's it's a weird going into the next season. It's weird that like okay, there's it's just like Hunter and Echo, and, and then. And and record, yeah, but then everybody else is like it's weird like balance going into that. So I'm wondering if they're gonna 
it's just like a Mandalorian thing, man. They gotta, yeah. they gotta unite. I think yeah. uh, Rex. We... And... Well, I'm, I mean, they're they're going to bring in. They gotta bring in Saw. Yeah, I feel like there's there's a reason we saw Saw Greer at the at the end there. Like these guys are loose cannons, but we need. It was a very brief cameo for Saw. Yeah. 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 The, he, that was the Zeb treatment. <laughs> But what's with man, these quick cameos? That's going to be a Do total. We... That's going to be a total like um, Jenga for them to bring in Saw. Mm-hmm. It could completely fall apart from there. I mean, Do when we... has bringing in Saw like not fallen apart? I, I, I mean, Saw is a great person to have on your team if you need a distraction. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like we just don't tell Saul the plan. <laughs> we tell him the time, and when explosions start, we sneak in the back door. Um, Do we have a timeline for when a uh, Palpatine Strandcast was created or born? I feel like um, they put Doctor Pershing in the Mind Flayer because whatever they had worked and they didn't need him anymore. Hmm. Well, the, the, the mind player doesn't get rid of his, his knowledge of, of it. It makes him susceptible to indoctrination again. Per, perhaps we'll see. I mean, he said, you're going to erase my mind. Um, you know, that's what his accusation was whether or not it's a full lobotomy or all the stuff is there and he's just kind of like a meat droid. Um, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, that's what he was afraid of. I mean, she turned it up to 50, so... Yeah. yeah. Well, from the Aftermath books and from the Rise of Skywalker novelization, I think it's it's, impl- it's implied that he got right to work on Exegol. Like, as soon as he's transferred... Like uh, there was there was cloning and then there was strand casting. Just so I think I think. Uh, oh, well, well, he had his dialogue where he's like, "The first cast didn't work, but the," and then he didn't get to say strand cast. But like, if he hit the point of the strand cast, do take it, then the their Sith scientist could probably take it from there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. I'm I, I I'm on the I'm on the line of thinking that after he made it Texagol, his essence transferred to, well, no, because the novelization says that he tr- essence transferred to a strand cast. It was still incomplete and decrepit, right? But he transferred to an already existing one. Yeah. So, it started before the original trilogy but, ended they, they would have had a, had to have a body ready yeah so Chaco Element I have a question for you um, Sith Troopers where did they all come from and are they like recruited or are they you know all clones or strand casts or born on Exegol to the um, Just all... to the Sith Eternal mm-hmm. okay like from, from that special. from that age um yeah nothing special about them but like you know palpatine kept crazy crazy amounts of data on literally everyone in the empire so he could pluck out people that were extremely loyal to him specifically and then among those people some of them would just get like stolen away and taken to exegol to be you know part of this thing Plus, we actually don't know what the state of Exegol was when he found it. There also could have already been a bunch of Sith cultists there already. You know. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, just from from a, from a certain point of view, right? The, with Sanguis, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, that it's a hidden world of the Sith, but I feel like it has, it's, not a, it's not a defunct world of the Sith. So there's always like creepy dudes just crawling around. It's like, oh, alchemy. 
Speaking of FACPOV, I'm excited for Return of the Jedi. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we actually might get a FACPOV of Palpatine's da- death. That's true. Interesting. I didn't think about that. If if we got one of, of Obi Wan's death, um, yeah, I think I think we might be able to get yep. one. Him we got a story. We got a story on Yoda's death as well in um, Stories of Jedi and Sith. And Starts off with death. just like Palpatine being thrown over the edge. It's like, yep. oh, fallen now. It's like that. Um, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> the intro to Thor Ragnarok, where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely want a canon story of of Anakin dying and Yoda just like plucking him out from the nether. He's like, oh, ghost you can be. <laughs> but, uh, I, I see got to be Mace Windu that plucks him out. And he's like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can be a force ghost, but uh, take a seat, young Skywalker. I'll save you, but just say I was right. Just say I was right. (laughs) Mace just says there was an idea that if you were to stay in the council chambers until I got back. (laughs) But uh, yeah, that's the Bad Batch finale. Uh, Lots to think about going into season, into the next season with Emery and Omega and where crosshair is going to be and how they're going to recover from this uh maybe rip tech who knows maybe M- most most likely but like no body no death that's a thing in star wars he was falling and there is likely snow underneath but he was underneath a big old train car so <laughs> you know <laughs> You just totally softened the blow and then made it diff- <laughs> made it hard again. <laughs> it's like, oh, he fell in snow, and then there was that. Um, but let us know. I think in the they'll comments. definitely need help from uh, Rex and the gang. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you think is going to happen in the next season. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this reaction. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Chaco, what do we learn? We learned that uh, as soon as you start getting character development uh, and someone tries to say goodbye, but you don't actually say goodbye back, sadness is about to occur. Uh, Happiness is a precursor to sadness. (laughs) So always say goodbye, because if you leave something unresolved, that's when you die. That's what we learned. Right. Now you have a word for Bogotan. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but that'll do it. On to the next one. For light and for life. We're all the Republic. And may the force be with you always. <laughs>